Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. So today we're going to talk about what is on my Mac. And I want to give a big thanks and shout out to Webroot for sponsoring this video. We'll talk about them in just a moment. So first off, this is a 2017 13-inch MacBook Pro in space gray, and it's just the base model with the touch bar. So the reason that I went with this model is it has the four ports, or USB-C ports rather, and yeah, the touch bar is cool to have and all that, but I really wanted those four ports, and you just get a little bit of upgrades over the very base model, so definitely important. But I don't use this for editing. I just use this as my everyday machine for checking email and doing just business type things on here. So I didn't need all that power because I have a 5K iMac for that. On the outside, I have this kind of clear matte cover just to protect it from scratches and things. And I really like it because from a distance, you can't really tell it's even on there, but you can see it's showing some signs of some little scrapes and nicks and things. And underneath it, my computer still looks like new. So it's definitely doing its job. And I think it's pretty cool. I'll leave it linked down below if you guys want to check it out. If I forget, just somebody remind me and I will link that for you guys. The wallpaper that I am using on my Mac is the one that is from the new iMac Pro and I absolutely love this. I've wanted it ever since I first saw it announced at WWDC, but if you want to get it or any of the others, again, I will try to link them down below. Remind me if I forget. And the screensaver I'm using is one that I've done several videos on and most recently in my Mac tips videos, but this is a retro flip clock and I've been using this for years and I absolutely love it. Okay, starting at the top up here, this is my screen record and I'm using it so obviously I can't really show it, but it's through QuickTime, just comes on your Mac. The next I have Duet and that's a pretty cool app. It takes your iPad and you have to plug it in, but basically it turns it into a second monitor for your MacBook. Moving to the right then, we have Magnet and that is such a useful app. But what it does is, here let me open up an app here, and if I drag it, you can see it makes that gray screen and it shows you where it's gonna go, but then it just automatically makes it full size or it shows you if you drag it to the right where it's gonna go and it just resizes everything and does it super quick and super clean. Next up is my antivirus. This is Webroot Internet Security Complete and this is like one of the fastest and smoothest running antivirus softwares I've ever used. It's not slowing down my computer. It doesn't give me millions of pop-ups. It just works and it sits there quietly and does its job. And also a quick word from our sponsor. Reports show that nearly 45% of all consumers have been attacked from some kind of internet attack. So it's always good to have some kind of protection and this is only gonna cost you around 17 cents a day for that comfort. It's always best to do it right away when you get a new device, but if you haven't got one, check these guys out. Some things that I really like that it does is they watch your webcams and detect if someone's trying to spy in on you. They'll also do things like encrypt your passwords so that you know all of your stored info is safe. And there's 25 gigabytes of data that they also give you for cloud storage. So if you guys are interested, please click that first link down below. Right next to that, we have an app called Hidden Me, and this is a free app. It doesn't cost you anything, but it takes all that junk that's normally on your desktop and it just hides it. So now it looks like you have this clean, organized workspace and it's not all distracting, but really it's all there. It's just completely hidden. To the right of that, we have M Installer. And what M Installer is, is it's a bunch of plugins, actually some of the best plugins that you can get for the Final Cut Pro app. So if you want to add all kinds of smooth, fancy transitions, or they even have things for color grading, titles, anything you can imagine, they have it. They're high quality, but they're not necessarily cheap. They're probably around like 60 bucks per plugin. Now you get a package there and there's several things included in that, but yeah, it definitely isn't cheap making these videos if you want to step up your game. That's pretty much it at the top. Everything else is basically what everybody has on their Mac. Now let's talk about my dock. That's basically where everything I use all the time lives. With this only being a 13 inch, I do kind of keep it a little cleaner than I do on my 5K iMac, which is 27 inches and it gives you tons of room here. But basically this is what I use the most. Over here to the right, I have my downloads next to my trash can. And I came back to record this on another day, so that little red handprint's gonna be gone and the web root icon's gonna be there. But that's just because I was doing this video through a couple days and I didn't think it through. But that is a hand saying stop and it's an ad blocker that I'm using and it works great. 
So back to the new doc. Now in the ad blockers place, we have WebRoot. Then I have Sonos Controller, which is just a Mac version of my Sonos app so that I can control all the music and all the speakers that are set up in my home. To the left of that, I have QuickTime, which I mentioned earlier at the top as the first one that I use for my screen recording. Final Cut Pro, surely if you guys are watching Mac videos, you know what Final Cut Pro is. It's what we edit all these videos with. And then from there, pretty much everything is average. You got your system preferences, just where you access all of your settings. App Store, nothing that you guys don't know. Um, iTunes, messages, I use iMessages a lot. Most of my people all have iPhones, so I absolutely love iMessages. Let's get this out of here and clean this up because now I'm getting lost in where I was at. So then to the left of that, we have iPhotos, or it used to be iPhotos, not just photos, notes, and yeah, that's pretty much it. FaceTime, um, really there's not much else going on here that everybody's Mac doesn't have. Um, I do use Chrome and Safari. I use Safari the most, but there's a few things that I do use Chrome for. Um, I can say hi guys real fast, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So we're going to wrap it up here. If I forget to link anything down below, please leave me a comment and remind me and I will do so. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.